Good morning, everyone. I've been working on this mobile setup uh, for quite a while. I finally have it to the point where I can test it out. Um, I can't test it in the driveway. There's too much shade there. So I've set everything up in the backyard as sort of like a bench test. I've got it set up like I would have it on the truck, you know, the, the rack that would be in front over the cab, the panels that would be on the um, uh, rooftop tent, and then the solar array stretched out um, either behind the truck or alongside the truck. I've got all the equipment set up like it would be in the bed of the truck. A kilowatt meter AC charger set up to the port that's on the um, pack that I created. The charger cable that goes out to where the truck is in the uh, driveway. And so I will plug that in at the point where it's uh, ready to turn on. Probably what I'm going to do is, like right now, I will check and see the how many watts are being produced. And if it's something close to, say, like 600, then I'll maybe go ahead and turn it on. I also have a fire extinguisher handy just in case um, something goes wrong. <laughs> also, it's nice that it's not on the truck yet. One of the things I had to include was this octo switch. I developed, which was um, to address the problem where if you have all the panels connected up, but some of them are folded up so they're not receiving sun, then that's going to affect the output of the panels that are in the sun. So you have to be able to uh, take them out of the system. For instance, when you're driving around and the panels aren't unfolded. So I developed this switch so that um, in the one position, you're just getting sun, uh, you're just getting power from the panels that are permanently mounted. The one, the rack that's over the cab and the pop, the panels that are on the pop-up tent. When you switch it to the two position, uh, of course zero is, everything's disconnected. And then that's when you can connect all the MC4 cables up. But in the two position, uh, it brings the additional fold out panels into the path, into the circuit, so um, you get power from those as well. So, checking the battery right now, looks like we are at 83%. That's actually the batteries are all, there's three batteries and they're all connected in parallel, so. They will all be at approximately 83%. Well, looks like these panels are just about all in sun. There's a little bit of shade on that last one, but uh, that'll probably be okay. I just checked the app for the controller, and it shows that uh, the panels are producing about 540 watts. And I checked the app for the truck, and it shows that uh, it's at about 70 percent state of charge and um, I think that with a guesstimated range of 156 miles so I think I'll go ahead and start um, the system up and start producing power all right I've just turned the system on and I've reset the meter. So I've got zero kilowatts produced. Six amps for now. I'll up that later as the amount of watts the panels are producing increases, but I don't want to drain the batteries. I don't want to pull power faster than the batteries uh, are taking it in. Six amps is going to be about 650, 700 watts. I think. Go ahead and plug it in. And it shows it's receiving a charge. I actually set this uh, system up yesterday and 
tested out the octo switch one circuit at a time or one set of panels at a time <laughs> just to make sure that I had wired it correctly inside the box um, and it worked okay. So I did get that out of the way yesterday. I checked just now and the uh, panels are producing about 600 watts, um, but the AC charger supplying power to the truck is using about 700 watts set at six, six amps. So um, that's going to slowly drain the battery, but I think real quickly we're going to be up to 700 watts or more. Uh, I'll come out and check it, and as it goes up, like once we get up to like where the panels are producing like 1,000 watts, then I can up the amps uh, output on the AC charger to maybe 8 amps or maybe even later in the day 10 amps. So we'll see how it goes. Now it's about... 11 a.m. and I just checked the app for the controller and I see that the panels are producing over a thousand watts so I'm going to and the and I also checked the battery and the battery level is at 75 percent so I'm going to go ahead and up the output on the AC uh, charger to uh, 10 amps so we'll see how if that starts to drain the battery or maybe the uh, output for the solar panels is going to get a little higher as it approaches noon. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It's just after one now and the sun is at its highest point. And I checked the system and it's producing 1150 watts. And so I think that's probably about as, as much as I'm going to get. Originally when I was planning for the system, I was anticipating having about 2000 watts of worth of panels and being able to produce uh, 10 kilowatts in a day, which would be approximately equivalent to 20 miles of range on, uh, on the truck. But um, due to some limitations, uh, which I think I can get around, but uh, not quite yet, I have to group the panels into groups of eight. And so I have two groups right now, so a total of 16 or 1600 watts. And uh, I also have a problem with, um, they're, they're not all, they don't all match. There's four out of this group of eight that are um, this other brand, Top Solar. And I bought these at first and uh, kind of, I didn't have a meter to test them at the time. I just kind of was going on, off of reviews on Amazon. But the energy panels are much, much better. Uh, and... Um, uh, consistently get closer to their rated output of 100 watts. Uh, these top solar ones, you know, I don't know, they're probably maybe at best they're doing like 70 watts or something like that. So that's probably causing a problem too. And of course, if this group of eight is matched with the other group of eight, which is a combination of the two on the end plus the six that are, well, 600 watts worth that are on the on the rack and on the tent so probably i could uh, do a little better if i eventually get um, four energy panels 100 watt energy panels to replace um, these top solar ones uh, the issue is energy panels are expensive uh, but they're worth it um, for the most part i try and find them used and of course, you know, if you get them used, then you got to test them with the meter. And a lot of times um, they, they don't test out well. That's probably why they were returned. And so then you have to return those. And then it takes a while to get used ones that are decent. But uh, <laughs> when you're dealing with this many panels at one time, you kind of have to try and save where you can uh, trying to put the system together. At least I did. One thing that's good about uh, how much power that's been produced so far, even though it's only 1150 watts and I was hoping for a little bit more, uh, the app for the controller is saying that uh, it's produced four kilowatt hours of power so far, which is pretty good. I mean, that's on track for maybe eight kilowatt hours for the day. Uh, my original goal being 10, if, 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 we, if I could do seven or eight, Today I would say, hey, that's a pretty successful test. Also, I've decided to leave the AC 
charger at uh, 10 amps. Um, the battery is down to about 63%, but it doesn't seem to be dropping that quickly. And especially right now with these panels producing about uh, the same amount of power that the uh, AC controller is drawing, then it seems to be almost a wash. So we'll leave it at 10 amps. Maybe I'll check it like in another hour, see how it's going. It's about 3.15 and I just noticed that uh, I'm getting a shadow from this shed. Uh, right now it's just one of those rafters, but pretty soon it's going to start covering this panel. And so that's really probably going to make a dent in the power being produced. The app is showing that I've got more than six kilowatt hours of power generated so far. All right, for the results, got to go over the results. Um, actually, I'm pretty happy with the way things turned out. I'm celebrating. I'm having uh, my off-camera beverage of choice in celebration. But um, I think it, um, I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I could have got like only, you know, under five kilowatt hours of uh, accumulated power. So, you know, considering that I have these four bum panels and there was some shadow, I um, also had a problem with uh, towards the end of the day, got some high cloud cover that sort of started to make things, you know, dim a little bit. So uh, I did um, stick a ladder. I noticed there was a dip in these panels down here. So towards the end, I sort of put a ladder into there to prop it up to steal a little, a few more extra watts of power. But I don't know if it helped that much. All right. So uh, in the end, the charge controller app showed that uh, at the time that I disconnected the truck or I stopped charging the truck, the charge controller app showed that uh, 7.25 kilowatt hours of power had been delivered. The point where the kilowatt meter is um, measuring it, it would be converting it to AC there. But then you get some more losses which aren't even figured in because then you convert it back to DC at the track. So really the better way would be to just go straight from the panels to the controller DC into the truck, but I would have to talk to some Ford engineers, I guess, about um, how to do that. But that's like phase two. That's ultimately um, a goal. About now, if I were to look at the at the app, it's showing uh, seven point around seven point five kilowatt hours. There's still a couple of hundred watts of power that are going through the system, and I'm using that to charge back up the, the batteries. I'd be happy with calling it a seven kilowatt hour system at this point. I'd, you know, take it to uh, someplace and if you, you're camping or something, you have good sun uh, and make sure there's no shadows, you can rely on seven kilowatt hours of power being transferred to the truck. My original goal was 20 panels at uh, 100 watts each or however many panels that are needed to provide 2,000 watts of power, and then over a day's time, be able to collect 10 kilowatts. So here I've collected, or 10 kilowatt hours. So here I've collected seven kilowatt hours uh, with 16 panels, well, with 1,600 watts worth of panels. I think the Ford app said that we started out at 70% with 156 miles of range, and we ended up with, um, 75% and 170 miles of range. So a gain of 14 miles, which, you know, you, some of you might say, well, that doesn't sound like a lot, but the original estimate of if I could get 10 kilowatt hours produced in a day, that would be um, equivalent to about 20 miles of range. And then, so here I got seven kilowatt hours produced and that's equivalent to about 14 miles of range. so it's right on track for what my original estimate was and 
eventually if I could add some more panels and solve some inefficiencies with the system, maybe I could get up to the t uh, 10 kilowatt hours. And that would be perfect because uh, 20 miles extra range a day when you're out in the back country, um, you know, and you're staying in one place for more than one day at a time, you can build up, you know, 20 miles, 40 miles, after a few days, you've got 60 miles of range you've added. So now, with this testing, I think I feel pretty confident that the system is not going to blow up or make the truck catch on fire. Uh, everything seemed to work okay. Um, I, the next step, I think, is to mount everything on the truck and road test it. And uh, so I'll have a video coming up for that. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Also. If you like this video and this content and you want to see more of it, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you for watching.